So keeping the end goal in mind, I've logged into LiveLocks.com and picked results from a previous event to show you. It's a super cool analysis tool for orienteers. It allows you to upload your GPS recorded route to see your performance. You and your friends will be able to see the course map, which route choices you made, what strategies other orienteers used, and also relive those lost, awkward moments. You know what I'm talking about. We've all been there. LiveLocks is easy to use, fun to watch, and it's free. So let's get you started. So there's three easy steps to set up your LiveLocks account. First, log on to www.livelocks.com and create a username and password. Second, install the LiveLocks recorder app onto your phone. This is how your GPS route is recorded. Last of all, you'll sign into the app to make sure that your LiveLocks account and your app are synchronized. So let's go to www.livelocks.com. So we're here on the LiveLocks homepage to create an account. Click on the upper right hand corner, then click on create user account. The blue doesn't apply to us because we don't live in a Norwegian or Australian areas. And then we begin filling out the form. First name, last name, email, username and password. And be sure that you record or write down your username and password because you're going to need that for step three. Click on save. Now let's work on step two. That's downloading the LiveLocks recorder app. The app is available free to both Android and iOS phones. This is what the app looks like. Okay, well, let's locate the app. I'm going to the app store. I'm going to type in a search for Live Locks. And the Live Locks recorder comes up, so click on that. And there's the app. I'm going to download it. Before opening the app, two things you want to keep in mind. First of all, make sure you enable the GPS location services for the LiveLocks recorder. It's important to do so because the GPS signals that create your routes are sent from your phone to the LiveLocks database. So make sure that it's on. Second, for iOS devices on dark mode, it's recommended that you use light mode. I've used it on dark mode before, and because of some of the letters are black, it doesn't quite show up properly on some of the submenus. So be sure you use it on light mode. All right, let's open the app. Okay, step three. Now we're gonna make sure that we synchronize your LiveLocks recorder app with your LiveLocks account. So that's where you need your username and password. So first we'll accept the user agreement, then log in. Make sure the login system says LiveLocks so let's change that at the bottom here. And then you'll enter your username and password for LiveLocks. Then click Login. How do you know if you did it right? How do you know if your LiveLocks account and your app are synchronized together? That's the easy part. Just check to make sure your first and last name appear. And if it does, you're good to go. What about the other stuff? Well, the event is the actual orienteering event that you're attending that day. Just click here on the settings button to find the specific event and it's sorted by the date, the organization, and location. When you get to the event, there's more than likely going to be different courses, and that's what class is. Classes can be designated or courses can be designated by color, by the time, or by different levels. Once you select the event in class and you're at the starting line, can start recording by clicking on start recording. Take your phone with you so as you run your race and you find your control markers it'll be recording your GPS route. As you cross the finish line you'll click on this button the stop recording button and you'll hit stop again and you want to keep that route and you're good to go. Easy. I hope you found this useful. I'll be making another LiveLocks video on tips for recording your next race and uploading your results. Until then, enjoy using the LiveLocks app at your next orienteering event. Good luck!